the view. Absolutely stunning. Hello and welcome to today's video. You join us today in Scotland, in the Highlands, where Dan will be doing the Three Peaks Challenge, the National Three Peaks Challenge. He will be starting from Ben Nevis, and then we drive to Scarfell Pike through the night, and then finish off at Snowdon in Wales. It's got to be done within 24 hours to count. I'm driving, so I've got an important part role in it. And yeah, let's see how we get on. But for now, just check this view out. It is glorious. Let's go. So we just got to the apartment. It is called Lock Haber Apartment in Fort William. And uh, well, let's show you around. Coming the door. To the right, we have a bedroom. Another bedroom. Shower room. Are you ready for tomorrow, Dan? <laughs> Kitchen. Car park outside and TV. Can't be bad. Let's. Uh, Time for a chill out after a seven, seven and a half hours, was it? Chilled out. Drive up here. Chill out and, uh, yeah, see what later brings. So we've settled into the apartment nicely. We're just about to go get some food, but I'll just show you what we've done to prepare for tomorrow. Uh, we've been to uh, a local supermarket, Morrison's, and uh, we've got stuff ready uh, just so we can grab things and go. So we sorted Dan's first bag out uh, with everything in it. So in there he's got uh, fluids and energy bars and uh, all these crampons that he needs for the top of Ben Nevis. All sorts of things like that. So that's his Ben Nevis bag. Then we've got a second bag ready to go for Scarfell Pike. Again, we've put uh, energy bars in. All sorts of food and drink that you might need up there. Just swap over a couple of things when we get there. So that's all good. Then we've also got the same amount of stuff for Snowden. Just so we've got plenty of energy out there. And it's things that I can change over while he's up another mountain. And it saves time. It's all about preparation. You need to save time and do it as uh, efficiently as possible. The other things are just food that we've put in the fridge and things like that for the actual journey uh, in the car because you still need, I'll need a bit of energy but also Dan will need some hot food which I will also be getting sorted for him while he's uh, coming back down the mountain. Uh, we've got things like these pouches from Wayfarer, we love these Wayfarer pouches, particularly the chicken tikka and rice, absolutely gorgeous. But uh, we've got the jet boils ready to go also. So uh, when I think is about 15, uh, 15, 20 minutes away, I'll start the jet boil, get it warm, get these cooking. And then it's ready for when he gets back to the car and uh, ready to eat on the go to the next mountain to save time again. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. It's all about preparation. All we've got to do now is have a nice night in Fort William and hope for good weather tomorrow. Let's see what that brings. Sunset on the Ben Nevis. What a life. <laughs> Welcome to the morning after the night before. We're just packing the car right now. And as you can see from the car park, 
bed. Glorious day. Look at that. Can't believe it's going to get a clear peak for the second time running. If you remember from a video this time last year, we got a clear peak and it was stunning. I think uh, we're packing the car now, making sure everything's accessible. And then uh, I think it's time to go get a bit of breakfast. Back to where the spoons is. It's uh, Fort William and uh, by the sea. Check this out. Maybe just see the bend there is behind. It's a windy day. It's a windy day. It should be fine. It should be fine. How are you feeling, Daniel? Ah, brand new. Ah, brand new. What are you doing there? <laughs> I'll give him loads of peace. <laughs> it's the day of the event. <laughs> it is. What date is it? Is it the 22nd? It's the 22nd. Saturday, the 22nd of April 2023. Uh, yeah, and it is. Quarter to 11. Uh, we're just going to get a little bit of bite to eat. And then we'll probably get some fuel after, ready for the car. And then it begins. Looking between 12 and 1 o'clock, something like that to start. Let's do this. Where the spoons? Needs must. <laughs> Reliable, that's what we like. We are at the Glen Nevis car park and uh, well, are you ready for it Dan? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's all becoming real now. <laughs> Don't worry, you're worried for you. I'm not worried. I'm not worried about myself. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about your driving. You can't find a petrol station. <laughs> I did go past the petrol station. Where's I was thinking station? of something else. It is quarter past twelve. I've got a feeling you'll be going by half past. Yeah. 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 Let's uh, count him off. 24 hours starts now, dude. Have a good one. <laughs> See you, bear. Ladies and gentlemen, 24 hour timer is on. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'll see him in about four hours, four to five hours. Let's 
So Dan's been keeping in contact wherever possible. Uh, he is up to where we call the zigzags. I'll show you on screen now via all trails where that is. And it's took him about an hour and a half or so to get there. So he's doing pretty well. He's hoping to summit uh, the mountain by around approximately three o'clock, which, uh, which is very good going, very good indeed. It is 18 minutes past three and Dan has reached the summit. He's just sent a picture through uh, of the trig point and uh, yeah, he's doing very well. Just over two and a half hours. Fantastic work, about two and a three quarter hours. Absolutely awesome. So I think he's having a quick, uh, quick bite to eat while he's at the top and then a little look around before he comes back down and uh, I make him some food and we get going. Great work, well done Dan. for Dan to uh, complete Ben Nevis I thought I would uh, enjoy a nice coffee and uh, I would also show you what we use for a kettle uh, this can be used for food or drink whatever you like and this is called the jet boil not sponsored by the way but it's a very very handy thing everything you need is in there so it comes like this you take the lid off and you've got a stand. So you put that out. Then you've got the burner with the control tap. And you have the bottle of gas. Like so. And then put the Put the cup on top and then you'll find that there is a button. So you turn the gas on, press the button and now it is burning. There you go, steam straight away because I've just made me coffee. So yeah, highly recommended, nice and compact, easy to carry and pretty lightweight. Uh, yes, all the metal bits get hot, of course they do, but then you've got a nice handle on it. And you can just lift the cup off if you want, if you don't want to carry the extra cup, and drink straight out of it. Perfect. I'm just reading about the Three Peaks Challenge and when it first started. It owes its origins to three teachers from Gigglewick School near Settle, who claim to have completed the walk circuit in 10 hours in 1887. That's pretty good going. 1887. So we've started this challenge at Ben Nevis in Scotland. Ben Nevis is 1,345 metres high. That's the highest point in Britain. We have a five and a half hour drive to Scarfell Pike in England in the Lake District which is 978 metres, which is actually the shortest uh, of the three peaks. However, we think it's probably the most challenging uh, of the three. Uh, just a little grueler, that is. Just a little grueler. If you watch uh, vlogs from last year, you'll see why. And then we finish in Wales, in Snowdon at Wyvidra. I hope I've got that right, which is 1,085 metres high. So we have about 11 to 12 hours of travel in between each mountain. That's why it's a 24 hour challenge because it just takes that long to drive as well as to climb the mountains. But without further ado, I'll drink my coffee and wait for a five and a half hour drive. After just four hours forty, he is back. 
How are you feeling? Huh? How are you feeling? Alright. Oh, Time for some dinner? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll let him have dinner. <laughs> so, as you can see, Dan's here in the car. It is now my turn to do the driving. We have 5 hours and 20 minutes to get to Scarfell Pike in the Lake District. Um, so yeah, we're going to go travelling through, um, through through Glasgow and uh, down through Carlisle. Cut off from Carlisle down to the Lake District. Let's, uh, let's get going. So it's 10.45 at night and uh, it was pitch black. Stars are out. Hopefully, I'll get a couple of shots of the stars. But we are here at uh, Wasdale, and Dan's just now getting his stuff prepared to get cracking. Are you ready for this, Daniel? Oh, walk in the park. <laughs> walk in the park. Uh, there's actually a load of lights up there. I don't think you'll be able to see it. Oh, there you go. An absolute load of lights up there already. And it's a very clear night. Unbelievable. So, let's wish him luck. We'll see him in a roughly three hours or so. 22.55. We'll see you at the bottom. In a bit. Good luck, dude. This is where I get some kip before the uh, journey to Snowden. We're here in the car, I've got my pillow, I've got a blanket. I think it's time for lights out. I've got two hours and then I'll get up and uh, prepare something for Dan to eat for when he gets back. He reckons it'll be about three hours. So, uh, <laughs> Just over three hours. Three hours, twelve, I think it was. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Dan's got his things together. And uh, he found that one a bit of a grueler, as we always thought it was. Now it's time to get to Snowden. Uh, another four and a half hour drive. OJ. <laughs> Let's go. Thirteen hours forty-five so far. <laughs> Let's go. Good luck. Last one. Snowden. Just dropping him off at Penny Pass. Here's going up there. Whew. You got five and a half hours left. <laughs> See you at the bottom. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have found him <laughs> at 22 hours and 11 minutes. I better stop the, better stop the stopwatch. Yeah. 22 hours, 11 minutes, three peaks, done. Just picked him up at the bottom of the Lamberry's path. Oh, how are you feeling? Broken, absolutely broken. <laughs> Thank you. 